Hello everyone, this is David Taylor and we're going to learn how to format our Word document in proper APA style. We begin at the top menu with the File menu. We click on that and drag down to Page Setup. That opens up the Page Setup dialog box. Begin on your left and work your way to the right. Also begin at the top and work your way to the bottom of this dialog box. Okay, margins. In APA, all margins are the same, one inch at the top, bottom, left, and right. The gutter means a little bit of space left on the right or uh, inside so that you can bind it, but you're not binding this, so leave the gutter zero. Page orientation is vertical or portrait as opposed to landscape. You are going to be typing more than one page, so you want to make sure that the multiple pages setting is on normal mirror margins for magazines, two pages per sheet if you're saving paper, and then a book fold if you want to leave room on the inside for binding between your pages. But this is normal. Very important, be sure to apply these settings to the entire document. APA wants you to have all of your document formatted with the same settings. The next tab is paper. Your course are using letter size paper. Do not choose any of the other ones, legal, the A3, A4, or British settings. If you choose a letter, it should be 8.5 by 11. This, these next boxes are for your uh, printer. Uh, again, you want to make sure that these settings are for the whole document. And then the last tab is the layout. You are going to add one section for APA and make sure that that section is going to start click on new page. Very important. Headers and put footers. You want to make sure that those boxes are unchecked. You do not want headers to differ on odd and even pages. You do not want them to differ on the first page. Also very important, make sure your header margins are a half inch, 0 0.5. Vertical alignment, you want your headers, of course, at the top of the page as opposed to center or justified. And again, you want these settings to apply to the whole document. Click OK, and you're ready for the next step, which is to go to the Format menu and to set your line space. And click on Paragraph. That takes you to the Paragraph dialog box. Make sure you've got the Indents and Spacing tab selected. Your alignment, of course, is left. You want to go ahead and have all of those things zero right there. You go to your Line Spacing dialog box. And make sure you got double, not one and a half, double space. Click on OK and you are ready for the next part. And the last part for this upper menu here is to go to View, and then from View, drag down to Header and Footer. That will open up the dotted line box in which you're going to type your header information. It also opens up the Header and Footer dialog box, that blue shaded box. First, use the Tab key or your space bar, as I'm doing here, and tab over and type in the first two uh, words, not more than two or three of your title. And then you want to insert a page using the Insert Page feature. And that's it. If you want to go ahead and align that thing up with the far right side, just click inside there. Use your space bar to add or subtract spaces to line that thing up in the far right. Uh, insert number of pages we don't want. We don't want uh, date. We don't want time. Let's do check our page setup uh, just to make sure that we did all that right in the first time. You close the header out and look where that uh, look where that cursor is is blinking because we're ready for our running head. Our running head is exactly one inch below the margin. You type in the words running head and colon. Put on caps lock and then type in one to two words of your title in all caps. Hit the Enter key to bring your cursor down to about halfway on the page. That's about four and a quarter inches. Go up to Justification. Go to Center Justification. And now you're ready to type in your title, the full title. Uh, that means your main title, which is the word discipline in this case, followed by the colon. And then I'm going to put in my uh, subtitle. I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste here. And here you have my full title, Discipline, Five Ways the Martial Arts Help Our Kids. Hit Enter one time. That gives us our double space, because we're already set on double spacing. Type in your name. I'm making up a name here, Dylan Cassell. You can type in the course number if you want to. That helps teachers who are teaching more than one course. And then, of course, the name of your school. 
in this case University of Phoenix. I'm going to go ahead and put in Savannah Campus because there are many campuses of that and some teachers teach online and uh, on ground. Hit one time, now you're going to do something very, very important. Go to the Insert menu, click and drag down to Break. You're going to enter a page break. Click on Break. You go down. What type of break did we say? Page break. Click one time. Click OK. And look at that. We've entered a page break. And what that's going to do is to allow our title page not to move and we can adjust the margins and the spacings on our body pages as much as we want and it's not going to affect what we did on that title page. Again, your cursor is in exactly the right place after that page break. You type in your title. Mine is Discipline, Five Ways the Martial Arts Can Help Our Kids. We're still doing center justification here, so we're in great shape. But now we've got to put in the body of our paper. We've got to click Align Left and then do one more important thing before we start typing. Go to the Format menu, click, and we're going to set our tabs for the correct paragraph indention. The correct paragraph indention in APA is a half inch, 0 0.5. So make sure it's 0 0.5 on your default. Alignment of course is left. Click OK. We hit our tab key one time and boom, it's a half inch exactly where it's going to be. Okay, I'm not going to type for you now. I'm going to copy and paste uh, some text in. Uh, whenever it comes in, it, it's coming in as a single space. It copied the tab from the previous document. But that's okay. We know how to set double spacing. Highlight the text to be double spaced or the page. Go to Format, Paragraph, and then go all the way down the line spacing pull down to double, click OK, and that thing's going to look like a beautiful piece of double spacing for you. The next thing I, I do want you to have subheads or headings, excuse me, in your um, in your paper. These are you're going to use level one headings, so that means they're centered. Let's type in a level one heading. Kickstart their defense. Okay? Sounds very good. Let's give ourselves a little bit of space there from the top so we can see what we're doing. Uh, now we've got our heading in. We go back to a line left. And once again, I'm going to copy and paste some text in for you so that we can um, um, not take up too much time here. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paste this in. That's okay if it's single space. We know what to do. Highlight, format, paragraph, line spacing, double, click OK, and we are set to go. Here's the beauty of having that tab set correctly. Hit tab one time, and we've got a perfect little indention there. Okay, let's pretend like this is our last page. On your last page of your body, when you're ready to do your references page, again, you want to go up to that insert menu, click, and insert a break, a page break. Click OK, and now you're ready for the references page. You can add and copy and paste and delete all you want to to your bodies because they, your body pages, because they are set off by those page breaks. Okay, references, the word is centered, of course. I'm going to copy and paste in it. Uh, I hit, uh, I hit enter. Um, to save time, I'm just going to copy and paste some references in there and, um, so that you can see how um, all of this works. The only thing I want you to note here is that your references are double spaced as, uh, as well as your text. The, um, the hanging indention, there are two ways to do that. You can go up to the little hanging indention um, uh, tool at the top and you'll see it uh, highlighted here when I put my cursor on it, hanging indent. I can move that to the left um, and the other way that I can do hanging indent of course is just to put my cursor in front of it, hit tab and I get my half inch of hanging indention just like it's supposed to be. Okay, there's a quick tour to how to set up your APA paper. Uh, now you'll be able to, um, once you've got an overview of this uh, video, you'll be able to go back, stop, pause the video, video to get all of your commands.